Super Pythagorean temperament, like mean tone temperament, defines its notes as locations in a circle of fifths. Super Pythagorean differs from mean tone, however, by which intervals it uses to approximate the harmonic series. That is to say, the two temperaments have the same generator, but different mappings. While mean tone temperament uses the major third to approximate the interval between the fifth and fourth harmonic, aka 5 to 4, Super Pythagorean temperament uses the augmented second to approximate 5 to 4. This Super Pythagorean mapping is most accurate, that is, the augmented second gets close to a 5 to 4 frequency ratio when the generator is tuned sharper than the pure 701.955 cent fifths of Pythagorean tuning, hence the name Super Pythagorean. Here's the traditionally spelled major triad in standard western tuning. Here's what is technically the same chord, but in a Super Pythagorean tuning. And here's the triad where the major third is replaced by the augmented second, which better approximates 5 to 4 in Super Pythagorean tunings. Super Pythagorean temperament also differs from the mean tone mapping from my earlier video for 7 and 11 limit intervals. While the mean tone temperament I described maps 7 to 4 to the augmented sixth, a 7 limit Super Pythagorean temperament can accurately map 7 to 4 to the minor 7th, and where the mean tone temperament I described mapped 11 to 8 to the doubly augmented 3rd, an 11 limit Super Pythagorean temperament accurately maps 11 to 8 to the diminished 5th. These 7 and 11 limit mappings are actually simpler than the mean tone ones, so less chromaticism is required to access them, as demonstrated by this short example. In addition to establishing these new useful harmonic identities, Super Pythagorean tunings, with their sharper fifths, exaggerate the melodic nuances of our familiar diatonic and chromatic scales. Major intervals derived by going up the circle of fifths are larger than they were in standard western tuning, and minor intervals derived from going down the circle of fifths are smaller. This melodic shift leads to scales whose melodic resources line up with their harmonic resources in new and useful ways. The round titled Deja Vu from my previous video, which is also the background music to this video, was loosely written with such a scale in mind. Its notes on C are C, D sharp, E, F, G, A flat, B flat, C. And its solfege on Do is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, Le, Te, Do. Since Super Pythagorean is derived from a circle of fifths, it can, as you've already seen, be notated using standard Western musical notation. Equal tunings of Super Pythagorean temperament can be realized in Sibelius using a plugin from Off-Tonic called NTET, which will apply the appropriate pitch bend to each note. The tuning used for the audio examples in this video was 22 tone equal temperament, which is a relatively accurate Super Pythagorean tuning generated by a fifth of approximately 709.1 cents.